Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I filmed a get ready with me slash makeup tutorial or whatever and just filmed this little pink number for you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to smash a massive thumbs up, subscribe, leave some comments down below and yeah keep supporting, keep sharing the videos. I really do appreciate it and no further ado let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm literally the worst at voiceover, so bear with me, guys. Um, look at my little joker of a little sister. Oh, I was trying to get a little feature in, lol. But um, I'm just blending out my concealer here. I use the Collection Concealer. I'm not sure what exactly it's called or what shade I use, but I'll make sure to link all the products I do use in the description box, if I remember. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I'm doing, just blending it all out and making sure it's blended in. <laughs> okay, so here I'm just priming my face and I'm using this little hydration um, primer that I got from Primark. And it's really, really good and it works really well with my skin. And it's a very nice base for makeup. I feel like whenever I have this primer on, my makeup does last a lot longer. So yeah, just massaging that into my skin and then going in with my Bourjois foundation. This is such a good foundation. If you're like me and you hate wearing it, it's really nice because it's lightweight and it was very cheap. It's a drugstore foundation, so I think it was like £8. So yeah, and I've got this... Uh, I don't know the shade actually, never mind. LOL! So I've just applied this collection concealer um, all over my face just to highlight and then I'm going in with my beauty blender and blending all that out. By the way, that's the same concealer that I use on my eyebrows. So yeah. So don't keep it away. And in this part, I've just contoured using my contour stick in the colour Coco. I swear by this contour stick, it's my favourite thing ever. And then I'm just going to blend that all out using my contour brush. After blending that out, I just go in with my Patricia Bright face palette and use the contour colour in the middle just to put some warmth in my face as it's a warmer tone colour. Want you all 
So after I finished blending, I used my Bake It Baking Powder and placed that where I placed my highlighter just to set all my makeup in place. I don't usually bake, so I just keep that on for a few seconds and then blend it all in. After blending all that in, I'm going to move on to my eyes using my Revolution palette and then another palette to achieve the shimmery cut crease like so and then apply my eyelashes okay now that's done i'm going back in with my patricia bright face palette and this time i'm taking the blush shade and applying the blush make sure you blow and you know take all the excess off i was really about to apply that on my face straight away and make myself look like a clown please don't do that quality over quantity always <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with my Revolution Highlighting Quad and I usually just mix all the highlights together really because I just like the shade that it comes with and then I'm going to apply that highlight onto my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. Okay, so moving on to the lips, I'm just lining my lips with a brown um, pencil and quick life hack, if you don't have a brown lip liner, just use a brow pencil, works exactly the same. Then I'm going to apply a nude liquid lipstick. And that's the final look guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, thanks for watching, bye! I don't put